Jimmy, my emails are so boring. Yeah. And I mean, I'm, I'm embarrassed about that. They're so yeah. boring. And <laughs> so we've already released, I don't know, 30,000 plus. So what's a few more? I don't go around questioning Donald Trump's health. I mean, as far as I can tell, he's as healthy as a horse. Well, his know? doctor said he had the best yeah. health med medical examination he's ever seen in a human being. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Can you open this <laughs> jar of pickles? This has not been tampered with. This is... <laughs> oh, oh, I get it. Obviously, try to make light of some of the issues Trump hammering on uh, this week. Uh, Trump campaign has been questioning Hillary's health, and now it's asking her to release more health records. She's already released a lot more details than he has as relates to health, so we will see what happens. Then it's starting to feel like deja vu all over again when it comes to those emails. The FBI just announced it has collected 15,000 new emails as part of its investigation into Hillary's private email server, and it could start releasing them before Election Day. Now, Trump is calling for a special prosecutor, says he doesn't trust the FBI. Take a listen. After the FBI and Department of Justice whitewashed Hillary Clinton's email crimes, they certainly cannot be trusted to quickly or impartially investigate Hillary Clinton's new crimes. Okay. Then, of course, the issue of immigration. Trump has made mass deportations, building that wall. The Mexicans would pay for, of course, centerpieces of his campaign. But he just canceled a planned immigration speech set for this Thursday. We don't have a date yet when that will be. And listen to what his new campaign manager, Kellyanne Conway, had to say about his mass deportation plan. As the weeks unfold, he will lay out the specifics of that plan that he would implement as president of the United States. Will that plan include a deportation force, the kind that he just, you just heard in that soundbite and that he talked about during the Republican primaries? To be determined. Okay. Now, let me first start uh, with Secretary Clinton. You know, we talked about this last night. Why she brings Colin Powell into it to the point where finally he says, she's trying to pin it on me, okay, is beyond me. She's her own worst enemy on this subject. I think if she just said, this is why I did it, Anybody prove to me how I release any national secrets or security, uh, tell me. But otherwise, I was stupid. I shouldn't have done it. If I had to do it all over again, I wouldn't have put a private she, server in my chapbook. She said that, not with those she, words. She, she really, said, I made a mistake. No, she first said, the FBI director said um, that I did nothing wrong until... Play the tape. That's not what he said even under examination um, at the, uh, on the House floor. She's doing herself a disservice by trying to mitigate the story. It's not a good one for her. Stop digging. Well, I, I, Richard, she made a mistake. Whether she says it, you say it, or I say it. She made a mistake. It's unfortunate. It hasn't gone away. It isn't going away. It, she made a mistake. She shouldn't do it. She should not have done it, whoever she gave her advice. I fault her advisors as someone who was a counsel to an elected official for not saying, this is going to get you into trouble. The fact is, at the end of the day, one, Jim Comey, I, I can't believe that Trump has the audacity to criticize the guy for being sort of in the pocket. He's not in anybody's pocket, right. number one. And number two, they have yet to say she did anything unlawful. It may have been sloppy. It may have been improper. Comey said it was all kinds of things. But so far, no one has said okay, anything so, is unlawful. So you counsel her. She gets asked the question, and she will at the debates, okay, about her email yes. uh, and her judgment and yes. why we should trust her uh, with sensitive data. What's, what do you recommend she answers as? I made a mistake with respect to my private email server, but I never uh, did something that compromised the national security. I would not. I have not. And Comey did not find that she did either. Okay. Well, he couldn't rule it out. And to, to say that someone that wants to be commander-in-chief of President of the United States that needs to rely on an advisor to tell her how to handle classified information is just an insane notion. And there, all of these new emails, which she said the only ones she didn't turn over were her yoga and about Chelsea's wedding, <clears throat> now we're seeing that they are, and Huma Abedin's emails, directly related to pay-to-play scandals that went on with the Clinton Global Initiative. Well, yeah, and like you're, we said you're pay all to along... Play. You're pay-to-play. You're making a leap of yes, evidence that's true. not it right now um, it the appearance of play no, to okay. play okay? Well, wait, wait, now so, appearance and now evidence of um, pay to play are so two very whether different whether or things. not it's a, it's defined as illegal any american can read those emails and define for them
stem cells that they, they stink to high heaven. Okay, let me, so let me just for everybody, I'll, I'll take the partisanship out of this. It was clear when she was offered the Secretary of State job that the Clinton Foundation that was already in existence, there was a clear acknowledgement that never shall the two twain cross, okay? There was a promise that there would be no influence from the um, Clinton Foundation to ever get any access for any of the people doing business with the foundation into the State Department. We have seen some emails that, Kate, can there be a meeting? And there was, okay, that was, was facilitated. Access, yeah. Nonetheless, no one has ever shown to this point a scintilla of evidence that any funds or favorable treatment came upon. So this pay-for-play right. evidence okay. of so they were selling not. access. What's selling? Seemed, Wait, yes, selling they access. were, because there was, they were taking they, millions they, of they dollars from foreign governments. From foreign entities made to the foundation and and they got meetings with the Secretary of State. Exactly, and you had Huma but, Abedin, but, who was working both for the taxpayers, for the U.S. government, and for Teneo, which was handling CGI, and and working between both sides, okay. setting up meetings and selling access. Look, That's exactly I, what the, happened. The appearance of it's bad, but Dominic, for the person who always talks about, makes fun of people's naivete, can I find one administration in the history of the United States where meetings have not been set up with secretaries of every single department in the federal government by people from PACs or other groups, et cetera, that are using influence to get people to get a meeting. Can you, can you think one exists in the history of our proud nation? No. Okay. But, but, it, but my only point is they promised, though, to your point, yeah. that that would never happen. It was dumb. But it's deeper than that, Richard. It, it's deep. What, what, what's, what's Bill Clinton's uh, negative nickname? The, uh, around Slick America? Willie. Slick Willie. Thank you. So do you really think that they should be having these types of meetings no. when your wife is no. the Secretary of State? I'm saying no N-O. I'm not putting a gray area around it, but I'm just saying they shouldn't have done it. They did it. But till somebody shows me that they actually got a quid pro quo for those meetings, and if it does, it's a real story, okay, then I'm going to tell you it was another dumb move, but it wasn't criminal, and you can't show me any evidence. And if you want to go back to every administration, I'm not saying that. you well, said no, there, there was, was evidence of pay-to-play, which was isn't never, the case. There's never a scenario that is um, equatable to this, that's comparable. There was never a scenario uh, no. where a Secretary of State, a senior member yes. of the administration, Can I say time a, because I want to get to Trump? Yeah. I agree with you, there isn't a same one, but I can point to Every single James Baker. Time not, out. Do you think James Baker's clients in the former Bush administration? Do you think they didn't get access to Bush 40 to W? You don't think his clients from the Middle East got meetings with the administration because of James Baker's but he contacts? He wasn't also working for the U.S. government at the same time where he had clients on the side. Clinton wasn't working for the government. Yeah. No, but his wife was, and she was James part Baker of, worked for his father, and her father, senior staffer, whom Abedin was. Tana, Tana. James Baker worked for his father. <laughs> He got clients of his to go meet with his son's administration. I'm not saying either is good, and I am saying it's even worse because this administration promised it wouldn't happen, but let's not be naive to think I can't find any Democrat or Republican it's president who didn't do it every again. single time. It'll happen with the again. next administration. Okay, it's wait one second. Bill, what the heck <laughs> is Trump going to say about immigration in that he got elected promising the wall, promising mass deportations. If he says anything but that, is to the alt-right crowd he nothing but a fraud? Can he have it two ways on this? I don't see how possibly he can. Uh, well, uh, let's see what he comes out with. What, what I saw, the original story that originated this whole question of whether or not he flip-flopped, is that BuzzFeed, which isn't exactly the most credible no, news you source. You just saw Kelly and no, Conway no, say. No, that, that, but it originated from this original thing where he was in a meeting with Hispanic an organizations, an advisory meeting, it. where it was reported that he changed his position. Now, someone else inside that meeting said that's not it's true. It's a little bit just more. Asked apparently, apparently, one of the things that they were going to float was that they wanted to prioritize people illegals in the country that had criminal records they wanted to deport. However, that's already the federal policy since 2011. Well, that's what he said today. Right. I heard him. He said that. He said, this is the current law. Basically, Obama's done a good job deporting criminal people. We're going to follow the law. He, he totally backtracked on what he had said I previously to do a Bush himself. And Obama did, is what he I said. want to follow the law and be fair. I think this is all just, uh, as I have said time and again, women and predominantly white women who find him unacceptable. This is an effort to soften him 
not to to minority community, but to white women, so he doesn't look like the bully and that he really is. And this is just a, a subterfuge. I think this is but all. But if the appeal is that he is a non PC candidate who's going to say what he thinks yeah. and he's not going to be about the sound. Well, this is a total departure from that. Well, if it is a 180, we don't know yet. But I, I, I don't think it oh, will be. Is. I think he said from day one that he wants it to be okay. fair, humane, and follow the letter of the law. Well, I think he, he never still, said yes, fair, yes, yes, he absolutely and did, Shelley. He 100 percent always said that. Line. From the no, he's been saying that forever. He hasn't Round articulated. How is round he them up? Said it's, he has said that, that and it's going to be deportations will be fair and humane. You. God bless you. I'm For just this repeating one. Yeah. what he said. Those are the facts. You can dig out you the articles. You can't repeat a lot of, there's a bunch of other things you can't repeat that he Look, said. I, right. I, I, let's see what the, okay. what the speech we, we is. We shall see. We'll agree on that one. Now, talking about money and the Donald, the Washington Post is following that money trail. And it is finding a whole lot of big promises and broken ones. A report on the story we'll have straight ahead.